Wanakam, I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 88. First up, use the new angle clock to visualize and edit the CSS angle value. In this page, the background has a linear gradient set to 52 degrees with red and yellow colors. In the Styles pane, there is a new clock icon next to the angle. Click on it to toggle the clock overlay. Drag the needle in the clock to change the angle value and preview your change instantly. You can also rotate the angle representations by holding the Shift key and clicking on the icon. The angle value will be updated accordingly. DevTools have added two new emulations allowing you to disable RWIF and WebP image formats. These new emulations make it easier for you to test different image loading scenarios without switching browsers. Say we have this HTML code to serve an image in RWIF and WebP format for newer browsers with a fallback PNG for older browsers. Open the rendering tab and select Disable RWIF image format. Then refresh the page and hover on the image source. The current image is fallback to WebP. Let's disable the WebP image format as well. Refresh the page and now the loaded image is PNG. You can now override storage quota size in the storage pane. This feature gives you the ability to simulate and test the behavior of your apps in low disk availability scenarios. Open the application panel and select the storage pane. Enable the Simulate Custom Storage Quota checkbox and enter any valid number to simulate the storage quota. To properly test your storage usage, you can clear your site data, then refresh the page to observe the change. Next up, performance recordings now have an option to display web vitals information. After recording your load performance, enable the Web Vitals checkbox in the Performance panel to view the new Web Vitals lane. The lane currently displays information such as First Contentful Pane, FCP, Largest Contentful Pane, LCP, and Layout Shift, LS. Use this information to identify performance issues and fix them. Check out web.dev slash vitals to learn more about how to optimize user experience with the Web Vitals metrics. DevTools now shows an error code for those network requests failed due to the cross-origin resource sharing course. In the network panel, the status column shows course error for the failed request. Hover on the error to view the error code. Previously, DevTools only displayed a generic failed status for the errors. View all service worker request routing information with the new network request link. This provides developers added context when debugging the service worker. Go to the application panel and select the service worker's pane. Click on the network request of a service worker. The network panel is open in the bottom, displaying all requests related to the service worker. Next, DevTools added a couple of new copy options in the network panel. In the network panel, right-click on a network request, then select Copy Stack Trace to copy the stack trace to your clipboard. Click on a network request to open the headers pane. Right-click on a property, select Copy Value to copy the property value. The new Copy Value option is available for properties under these sections. Here is a bonus tip. Use the focus debuggy command to quickly switch focus to the web page. In this example, I have multiple browser tabs and Chrome DevTools open. I would like to debug the page associated with this DevTools window. I can find the page manually, but there is a DevTools shortcut for that. Click on Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P in macOS to open the command menu and search for the focus debuggy command. Click on that and we will jump into the correct page. All right, there are more updates indeed. Check out our blog post for WebAssembly debugging enhancements, new frame details information, and more. All the links are provided in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 89.